Jeremy Van Dyke. Oh man. Rock solid backbone of our band. I remember one time we were, uh, it was the first ever tour that I was with the left and we were in Merritt and we were in the bus and I think it was the alternator busted. Jeremy scrounged and scrounged. We're all sitting outside in the parking lot for like three to four hours wondering if we we're gonna make it to Kelowna to play our next show. A few things I could say about Josh. He has trouble cooperating with people. I guess. Stubborn sometimes. Thinks he's Bon Jovi. Jeremy's just sitting there with the uh, under the engine hood, sweat dripping off his nose, never left it. Scrounge, 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 finally fix it, got us there, it was awesome. It's a little awkward when you're dealing with like a band where it runs on community values and you have to learn how to get along, right? And Josh has a lot of troubles doing that. My car has been sitting in his driveway for about five months. One time I was working on the camper, trying to get the Kelowna. Busting my hump trying to fix the alternator. Josh laughing at me. Not a very, not a very good person. I'm pretty sure he doesn't even know what I do in the band. He's an all around A plus good guy. Easy to get along with. Really easy to get along with. Takes direction really well. He doesn't help with merch. Never has anything encouraging to say to anyone. He's only yay big, so it's hard to find when he's lost. Possibly one of the worst things I've heard. Should stick to whatever he does. I'm not still not sure what that is. When I actually when I think of Josh, the thing that comes into my head the most is how horrible he actually is at singing. He's a really good soccer player. Uh, surprisingly quick. He's a really fast guy. Personally, I've been working a lot on my vocals, and I want to sing a lot more in the band. And Jared, he's he's really good at encouraging that and helping me out. If I had to describe my relationship with Jeremy in two words, the best. He's the worst. I hate his hands. I hate his fingers, I hate the way he walks, I don't even like his hair. It's uncannily, uh, it's incredible how much I actually hate the guy, the more I think about it, the more I talk about it, the more I get mad at him. So what are you doing later? You want to catch a movie or...? <sighs> I hate his face. <laughs>